Analyst. We have with us now Lieutenant General Retired Ashok Mehta, Defence Analyst. Sir, what is the procedure really, if you could help us understand, of declaring a soldier dead? Uh, interesting question. We uh, in the Indian uh, defence system do not have a category of uh, missing in action. I am not aware of what pe after what period of time, uh, whether it is uh, 30 days or a year, uh, they declare anybody who is missing in action as dead. And um, unlike in other countries, uh, not, not notably in the United States, where unless the the last remains or the the bones and the body of the soldiers are recovered, even now, uh, as we speak, there there is an American team in uh, Vietnam. Uh, uh, trying to find out the remains of uh, American soldiers who had fought there. Uh, so, but you know, on the Indian side, the story is very sordid. And um, this whole thing about Pakistani prisoners in um, in in Pakistan, uh, our Indian prisoners in Pakistan, is a, is in a great mess. And we have not pursued this. Uh, either at the government level or even, you know, somebody mm -hmm. like myself who does a lot of track too with Pakistani uh, defense establishment and diplomats, we have never taken this issue up uh, with the Pakistanis. And as far as Pakistan is concerned, uh, they have officially declared that they have no uh, prisoners of war. All right. And so uh, I think this this story that has now come out, mm -hmm. as your correspondent uh, from Chandigarh has suggested, uh, requires to be investigated in great detail. Mm -hmm. And the matter revived, whether it is 54 or 74, I think. Uh, the kind of honor and dignity that uh, we bestow on soldiers while they are alive right. uh, requires to be done even after uh, they are declared dead. It's such a shame and a pity that the men who have bled for the country are left in a situation like this. Uh, 